All right, everybody, how you doing today? We're here doing the lessons of A Course in Miracles, and today we are doing lesson number 224. God is my father, and he loves his son. My true identity is so secure, so lofty, sinless, glorious and great, holy, beneficent, and free from guilt, that heaven looks to it to give it light. It lights the world as well. It is the gift my father gave to me, the one as well I give the world. There is no gift but this that can be either given or received. This is reality and only this. This is illusion's end. It is the truth. My name, O oh Father, still is known to you. I have forgotten it and do not know where I am going. Ain't that the truth? Who I am or what it is I do. Remind me, Father, now, for I am weary of the world I see. Reveal what you would have me see instead. Man, that's a good prayer for today. Certainly good for me, but you know, illusory things going on in the media world and everywhere. I mean, you know, our lives, our, our secretive, you know, stuff we don't tell people. You know what I'm talking about. Man, that is a good one. God is my father and he loves his son. Interestingly, I took a little gander at uh, 224 over here and the title is a little different just in case people have a, a thing with saying son, you know, son. I am God's son, you can say um, children or sons and daughters if you want. It's totally okay. All right, so a year of forgiveness. Oh, this is really cute. We got this little little picture there and she's kind of like, I don't know, I'm not sure. God is my father and he loves his children. Oh, you know, I think it looks like an I don't know, but maybe it's more like a surrender kind of a pose. I'm not sure, what do you think? You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one you know is Jesus. Many of you come to these teachings when you are weary. You have tried as hard as you can using the knowledge that you have, ha that you have to make things work for you. Still, there is something missing. There is some disaster that befalls you that you cannot cope with. There is some deep disillusionment that overwhelms you. Depression, sadness, guilt, shame. Over time, all these things take their toll on the human experience. There is no shame in this. This is the nature of chasing your idols. This is the nature of being out of alignment with your true grandeur. This is the nature of denying what you are, how you are made, and what your purpose is. It is a lot of work to keep God out. Oh, I'm gonna say that one again. Man, that is so good. It is a lot of work to keep God out. Oh, and now I get the picture. Man, let that go. Let those blockages go. Release all those tensions, all the places where you're contracting and blocking and constricting or freezing or maybe even fleeing. Let that go. It's a lot of work to keep love away from you, Jesus says. You all get weary, and at that point, you become teachable. Be grateful when you are tired. It shows you that you are doing something incorrectly and that you need to relax and surrender a little bit. Be grateful when you get upset or depressed. Understand that those emotional feedbacks are telling you that you are out of order. You are seeing something incorrectly and you are looking at something the wrong way. When you find peace, happiness, and joy, revel in it, love it, and experience it. Do not feel guilty and think, Oh my goodness, this is going to come to an end soon. As you go through these lessons and practice them year after year after year, for this is a life's work, not a year's work. That might be bad news for some people. The periods of peace, joy, and happiness will become longer and the upsets will become fewer. Know that this is going to happen to you. This is a scientifically proven practice. The more you forgive, the less fear and attack you indulge in and the better your life will feel, the more abundantly you will be able to engage with your experiences and the gentler and kinder you will become. I am that one you know is Jesus and we are very glad 
that you are here with us on this journey. We walk with you every single day. We will speak to you again tomorrow. Oh, so, yeah, okay, that's another great little tidbit for today. We're never alone. We have all of our guides and teachers, particularly Jesus and Ananda, Zekwil, Zena, Shotal, all my friends who channel, they have guides and teachers that are also with me and all of you. Uh, my friend Anne-Marie rattles off a lot of archangels and I love that feeling. The strength of Archangel Michael, the ever-present balancing of our Merkabas from Archangel Metatron, all of it. Like we're never alone and I, I really enjoy the, the way these lessons are building. They're short and sweet. You get to just think about this. God is my father and he loves his son. I don't know where I'm going, who I am, or what it is I do. Please, God, remind me, for I'm weary of the world I see. If you are feeling that, dig into this lesson. Use it for all that you can get out of it, you know? Just absolutely open to it. Yeah. And if you decided to start doing the 40 days and 40 nights again, that's another way of just a whole nother layer of teachings and wisdom and guidance that you can infuse into your day and into your life. And it's just 100% worth it. You're worth it. I love all of you. Thanks for being here and I'll see you tomorrow.